Okay, this is a scarecrow painting that actually has a lot of chalk details. Today, I'm only showing you step one, which will be the tempera block painting. So we're not going to have to worry about all these details today. We are only going to paint the major parts of our scarecrow. I actually have our paper right here. So we're all going to be working with a 9 by 12 heavier paper. It feels a little bit heavier. And we're, we are going to have a black crayon for writing our name. I do like seeing if you could write your grade and your teacher's initial. And I will have you write two and then your teacher's initial. Some of you will write 2V today. Some of you may be writing two R. Now, can it? Now we are going to review our painting, our painting techniques. Okay, so I have a larger paintbrush and a smaller paintbrush. I usually call these detail paintbrushes. I might not have to use this very much. But this one is going to be my buddy. And so it's more of a flat paintbrush. Even though it's really small, it is square tip. Okay? I also have a paper towel. At every table, you will have a paper towel for blotting your paintbrush. And if you need to um, get a new one during your, your job of painting today, you can go ahead and they're at your table. You can get a new one. We also have water buckets. We have a couple water buckets for everybody. Um, use the closest water bucket to you. Don't reach across the table to use a water bucket that is far from you. You should have one very close to you. And then in the middle of our table, we have the tempera block. And the tempera blocks have basic colors, but it doesn't have every color. So our first step is to paint a circle and it's going to be our um, scarecrow's head. And for today we'll wet our paintbrush and you can use a yellow. Sometimes scarecrow heads are made out of burlap or potato sacks and then, but they can be all different colors. So for us, we are going to use yellow and make a circle right up here. Notice I'm brushing and I'm not grinding my paintbrush into the paper and I'm using nice brush strokes. Um, my next step will actually be uh, probably doing the overalls. I'm going to go for the largest part of my painting today. I'm going to rinse because I want to switch colors. Notice I'm not dabbing at all. I'm just rinsing in the bottom of the bucket or the container, and then I want to make sure that I have that dirty water out of my bristles because these will get really dirty. Um, our kindergarten, our second graders are using them right now, and I think we've been taking very, very good care of it. So we are rinsing, and I'm switching to blue. I actually have no problem if you don't want to make denim overalls. If you want your overalls to be a different color, you can do that. But I am doing blue. Notice I brush the paint onto my paintbrush. I'm not grinding it. And here's the largest part. It's going to be a big rectangle to start with. And my paint is actually a little bit dry. So I just need to add a little bit of water to it. I'm going to fill in that rectangle with nice brush strokes, staying in the lines. So right now we have a circle and we have a yellow or a blue rectangle. I appreciate all those folks sitting quietly facing the TV screen. They are paying attention. I just added the overall straps. I left a little gap here because I plan on showing shirt.
I want a different color there. Now I'm going to work with the legs. I'm adding the legs of my scarecrow using nice strokes. Coming back for more paint. I got everybody sitting quietly watching the TV screen. Okay, so I am done with the blue for now. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush without splashing my neighbors. I like brushing on the bottom of the bucket. Sometimes that loosens paint, but I always double check to see. I have, you probably can't see it in the video, but there was a little bit of blue in my bristle. So just rinsing it right here. Now I'm going for my shirt, okay? And I choose green. You could choose red. You could choose white. Another color, but I am choosing green. And I'm going straight out. And I don't believe I got enough green there, so I'm coming back for it. Look how much darker it looks. And it's a very long, skinny rectangle. Okay? I'm going to add more green on this side for the arms. And I think I ran out of water there, so I come back to it. And just kind of trying to make it look like the other side. And I'm going to use more green. I'm done with this paint rush. I'm not leaving it in the water bucket. I'm just putting it here. And I'm taking my detail paint brush. And I want to add a little green here. I didn't I did not think that my my other paintbrush was small enough. So I'm brushing a little bit of green for my shirt. And I'm adding yellow. Now my yellow can get dirty really easily. So I try to have clean water. My white can get very dirty too. Clean water. And I want to add tufts of hay coming out of my scarecrow. And I can do that at the bottom too. He doesn't have shoes on. <laughs> Maybe you want shoes, but I want tufts of hay. And I am going to add for my final step. Everybody hear this. I actually am doing a black painted hat last. And I got to tell you, the reason I'm saving black for last is that the black will dirty up all your paint colors and your water. So always save the darkest color last. I'm adding a line. And I'm going to put the top of the hat up there. And it could be a different style than this, but this is what I choose. I'm adding, filling in. Now, I am not going to paint anything else on my picture because we are doing um, chalk next start period. 